Hi everyone, and this is Raj Shekhar Bhutta from BMS Institution. Now I am introduced from our institution side to you for 10th class student. First of all, I introduce our 10th class batch. This lab activity to do successfully in this manner and this lab activity expense one and all in our 10th class batch is sponsored to you. Watch and enjoy it. Now enter into the hard anatomy class. Dear students, everyone must and should carefully observe a physiological characteristics first I introduce to you from our institution side. The size of heart look like our fist size. The size of heart look like our fist size. The heart is locating the left side of the thoracic cavity. Heart is locating left side of the thoracic cavity. The heart is made up of cardiac muscle. The heart is coated with a very flexible membrane. The flexible membrane is known as pericardial membrane. This type of the pericardial membrane, double coated layer, the external layer is specially called fibrous, the internal layer is called serous. External layer fibrous is made up of hard cartilized tissues. Let us come how it is. This is a, a layer of the pericardium. Now I show to you internal and uh, external or internal and uh, outer. Alright, I told you the heart is coated uh, a flexible membrane like a, a pericardial membrane. The pericardial membrane, there are the double coated layer. One is a serous and another one is a fibrous. The fibrous is made up of strong connective tissue. Strong connective tissue. We remove this extractor material from the heart. After removing extract material from the heart. Now I introduce another one important point to relate. Heart is coated uh, with a flexible membrane, pericardial membrane. The pericardial membrane filled some amount of fluid that is nothing but pericardial fluid. The pericardial fluid to reduce the jux and physically effect from the body to the heart. Now I show to you and this thing this is coronary arteries. What is the role of coronary arteries? The coronary arteries to supply the blood to the heart. And this is a very important role of the coronary artery. The heart is made up of cardiac muscle. The cardiac muscle is divided into there are the three different type of the zones in the cardiac walls the outer inner or mid outer zone is called epicardium the inner zone is called endocardium between these two layers is called myocardium and this is a classification way of the cardiac muscle in the heart, the heart is consist four chambers, upper chambers auricles or atriums, the lower chambers ventricle. The heart is vertically separated by uh, septum, the septum locating into the ventricle 
inter ventricle septum at the same point of view between the atriums the septum we known as inter atrial septum what is the role of septum septum to separate in the heart a left portion and a right portion now i introduce what is the function of left side of the heart in the left side the heart wall is very thick when you compare with right side of the wall the left side heart chambers contain high pressure the right side is low pressure this is a, a major variation between left side and a right side of the heart and left atrium left ventricle is separated with help of the bicuspid valve bicuspid valve at the same point of view the right atrium and the right ventricle is separated with help of tricuspid valve when the blood upper chamber to lower chamber reach successfully with help of this valves after that immediately this left atria and the left ventricle the left atria and left ventricle and also right atria and right ventricle closed with this two different type of the valves like tricuspid and bicuspid and immediately the valves is open from the left ventricle to aortic valve right ventricle to pulmonic valve the pulmonic valve collecting the deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to send lungs at the same point of view after the lungs collecting deoxygenated blood with help of the capillary network to exchanges of the gases at the stage of alveol to purify that means collecting carbon dioxide and adding oxygen the type of the oxygenated blood from lungs to heart to supply with help of the pulmonary vein from left ventricle to the blood pumped with help of aortic valve after that the blood to shifted into aorta the aorta is divided into several main arteries for example mesenterion this artery send oxygenated blood from heart to digestive system at the same point the renal artery the renal artery collecting oxygenated blood from heart to a kidney and this is a information to the left ventricle when successfully oxygenated blood reaches from the left ventricle to body parts in that momentum to do one kind of a greatest process cellular respiration after the cellular respiration the deoxygenated blood collecting from the body parts to sending to heart with help of veins one important note all arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery all veins are carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein and this is a very important point to you guys i don't forget second important point the left side of the heart high blood pressure the right side of the heart a low blood pressure left side wall thicker 
then right side wall the heart connected with the six blood valves the first one second one the second one is aorta aorta is the largest artery in the body and this one third one and fourth one fifth one and last but not least is sixth one the six blood valves is connected with the heart to body and listen everyone now what is the internal features of the heart before that the heart look like our fist size the pear shape and uh, the approximate weight of heart in the human body 300 grams to 350 and depends on the different ages now we observe what are the characteristics is in the heart with help of a powerful surgical blade we cut it into external walls of the heart and slowly to cut it now i let it feel it i give the a lot of force when i cut it the left side of the wall of the heart at the same point i uh, i give the low pressure right side of the heart walls now i show to you what is the internal features and this is a septum the septum is separated and this is a clotted blood and this is a waste that is the main that is the main reason i remove this now we remove the type of the uh, clotted blood with help of uh, water i dip into the water after we remove that type of the harmful blood i show to you how many pathways are there in the heart the first one the first one i show to you aorta now i am inserting here I show to you aorta from the left ventricle and sitting here the pen is derived from this is the aorta now right ventricle this is right ventricle this is a pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and from the right atrium vein from the right atrium and last but not least left atrium this is a pulmonary vein this is a pulmonary vein the pulmonary vein collecting oxygenated blood from the lungs to heart now i show to you what uh, how constructed bicuspid valley already i told you the bicuspid valley is built with two different type of the membrane 
the first one the second one the bicuspid valley separated left atria and left ventricle at the same point of view here i exhibited to you for explanation purpose i cut it this cardiac muscle here why because means i i feel so excited i show to this valve that is nothing but please hold with help of my students i show to you tricuspid valve the first membrane the second membrane the third membrane once again the first membrane the second membrane third member this type of membranes is very flexible and very hard why because means depends on the pleasure blood and got it this type of the tricuspid valley is locating between right atria and the right ventricle now i label the parts of hot internal structure first of all i exhibited to you the pin of white left atria the pink color head pin right atria the the pink color head pin right atria the next one is now i show to you left ventricle with help of yellow pin the right ventricle with help of blue pin the green pin label iota and this is iota iota is the largest artery and red color is the septum and this is a heart anatomy and a external internal features of human heart this video for 10th class students please watch this video and uh, subscribe the bms institute youtube channel share this video thank you